Hello guys, my name is Doak and I think that I'm gonna throw up. Because of all the hard preparation for this video. Yeah, and it's coming for you too. Today I'm trying to paint Optical Illusion. I've already done a video with uh, Optical Illusion, but that was a different kind. So right now let me tell you more about my plans. I'm pretty sure that at least once in your life you have seen pictures like this. Pictures that create an illusion of movement. Pictures that create an illusion of space. Pictures that make you think that you need glasses. Pictures that make you dizzy. That's what I'll try to paint today. As you have already seen, there are many kinds of optical illusions like this. But I bet that you didn't know that there is a whole art movement with a name Op Art, which is all about artworks like this. Just Google Op Art if you want to know more about this movement. First of all, I thought that I'm gonna pick just one of these effects or illusions and I'm gonna create the whole piece in that particular effect. But I thought about it a bit and I think that it might be a bit disappointing to pick just the one illusion. And so, I decided to pick five styles. And my plan right now is to create a letter in every single one of these uh, styles of illusions. <sighs> Pray for me. The good news are that most of the op art pieces that I found are black and white, which makes the color choice pretty easy. We will need just black and white. And also maybe some transparent black for shading. I will also use some accessories such as tape, cardboards and the, and the tape. I still remember you, tape army. These accessories should help me with the cleanliness of my lines because they'll need to be precise today. Alright, let's do this. This wall remembers some better times. The color is peeling off. Actually, you can see all the previous layers of color. First lines are done and right now it's time for the magic. I'll start with the easiest form of optical illusion. I actually found a tutorial how to do it on YouTube and it will be the first letter as well, letter D. So you basically just make stripes across the whole box and then you fill them in a different way inside and outside of the letter. That's the theory. This is not straight at all. <sighs> I've been able to do it straight to this point, but then it just lost the proportions and so I used the cardboard. I just lost it, like this part 
this. Should be black, but this one should be white. It's wrong. Okay, but I want to make it a bit more distracting. Before, it looked good, but I thought that it's a little bit too obvious. Right now, I added these white stripes. Look at that. I just love it. Yeah. It's time for lunch. What do you think about these um, meals of the future? Like, this should be my lunch. The theory here is that I will outline this K over and over and over and over again. want to practice your lines try this yeah first of all I wanted to do it with a tape but just imagine taping every single one of these lines the, the E the theory over here is that I will create the shape of the letter E by curving straight lines that's the plan These lines are not straight at all. Ah, damn it. I didn't want to use cardboard for this, but I think that it's necessary. All right. Right now it's time for the letter R, which is gonna be a problem because I don't really have a proper plan. It might work and it might not. <sighs> yeah, I'm making circles, but making of circles is a hard job, tricky job. And I'm not sure if this is not gonna look bad. Not perfect. Alrighty, the day is coming to the end, which means that it's time for the letter O. I'm terribly afraid of it, but let's just hope that it's gonna work.
if I compare it with these two, it's not dense enough, so I need to add more lines into it. I wanted to do this with a tape, but I'll do it freehand. Alrighty, it's been a whole painting day, but I am done and I love it. Yeah, you guys, please, when you see it, let me know in the comments below which of these illusions you like the most. Yeah, just write a letter. And if you like it overall, thumb up would be awesome, as always. I have to say that this was not all that difficult painting. But I don't want to do straight lines and circles for a quite long time. <laughs> this is it.